YouTube TriStars, um, TriStars Trucking. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to buy or going to purchase a new GPS. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Basically, I saw some videos on YouTube with the new Ron McNally and they're saying that it's crap, you know what I mean? It's not the GPS to have, you're wasting money or stuff like that. And for some reason, because I'm using the GPS for so long, I fail to believe what these guys are saying. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And the reason why I said I fail to believe, not, not that they don't know what they're talking about, is because some of these guys are actually coming over from another GPS and having this GPS for the first time, you know what I mean? I've been with my years of experience with this GPS. I know, I know that this GPS to be a very good GPS. So I fail to believe what I'm actually hearing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually buy that GPS. Normally I don't do this. Normally when I go on YouTube and the guys complain about something and they put their facts in and stuff like that, I, I, I turn away from it and I choose something else that is recommended. No, because I fail to believe that they're having so many problems with this GPS. I don't know what I'm doing, but honestly, I'm going to purchase that GPS in this video. Before I get there though, most of the, the guys that I see that do an update on the videos, just have the video for me, just have the GPS for maybe a week because it should return in seven days if it does if it don't like what the GPS is about and stuff like that. But in my take, sometimes you gotta give your time, you gotta give yourself time to understand this the GPS, to get familiarized, to know the GPS. You know what I mean? Because I remember when I did my first video, there are a lot of guys that email me and be like, Troy, I didn't know you can set up a GPS like that. I didn't know the GPS could do that. I didn't know the so most of the time people just work with the basic but this gps was called overdrive and if if a company built a gps and mark me this company is going on good and going on for a while with gps and for them to build a gps and call it overdrive and it's no good you know what let's I'm gonna to go to one of those truck stops and buy that GPS. I think that GPS is somewhere like $5.99, no, $5.99 in the US. I think it's $6.99 in Canada. Plus tax is gonna take it to $700 and something dollars. That's a lot of money for a GPS, to be honest. GPS is it. So let's go in the, in the truck stop. I'm at TA right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I think I'm gonna buy it at the TA. I'm TA in Canada. So I'm gonna go by the Flying J and look what's going on so thanks for tuning in and it's try stars truck it yeah so basically um in well i came back to ta because in the flying j was expensive so i actually came back came back to the ta just to actually get get this one so this is what i'm going to do i'm gonna buy let me show you what's going on so this is the one i currently have in the truck right now for 5.99 and this is Canadian, um, you know, I heard that this one is alright, you know, but um, this is the one that everyone been talking about, but I am only going to buy this GPS just because it's a newer version and um, I need to see what is going on. Well, no, that's not it really. The main purpose is some of the features that is on it that I'm really interested in. Um, and it's also, it's time for upgrade. That's TriStars. I like to upgrade to new um, technology. So this is what I'm gonna do. I was told that the, the, the garments are okay. Um, that garment right there is um, six, $6.49 for the diesel. That's a diesel, right? Yeah. That is 7.85. See there, and the other one. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, I got the new one and I'm replacing this one that I've been using quite some time now, maybe two years I'm using this one for. So I'm gonna change and try out the overdrive and see what the overdrive have to offer, you know, and see what's going on. Yeah, so I, I buy it at the travel center like I told you. Yeah, so this is the overdrive. So I'm gonna unbox it in the morning when I got more light to see what's going on in there. Show you guys what's going on, right? So yeah, this is the you know, this is the overdrive. Yeah, so in the morning we check it out, see what's going on. YouTube TriStar, some TriStar trucking. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna unbox. Uh, I'm gonna unbox my GPS um, that I purchased last night. You guys already saw that video, you know what I mean. And um, I'm gonna unbox. Let's go inside just to see what's going on. You know what I mean. I'm gonna. Uh, put this GPS on my dash, run it for a month, and come back to you guys with the what's going on for this GPS. Because, like I said, I saw a lot of videos, and I mean, I think it's a rush use because people want to return it back before the seven days and all that. Um, even though it shouldn't shouldn't have taken so long to get to know something, but when you got a lot of features enter into something or enter in anything, you have to take your time to get familiarized with it. You know what I mean? Um, along with reading the, the manual and get to, you know, and like I said, I had one before and, um, my friend called me up and purchased it, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's a good look. So far, so far, we're just going to go inside of a GPS box. Look what's going on in there. And we, you know, like I said before, I will get back to you guys, let you know the real verdict of what's going on with this GPS. Thanks for tuning in. No, it's TriStars Trucking. Yes, YouTube. So basically, I'm just gonna um, go inside the box, and this is what the box looks like. You guys already know, so you know I, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about what outside of the box look like. And um, I know you guys, most of you guys know the GPS already. I'm just, but I I actually pulled the box already. You know, you know what 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 is like. So yeah, inside the box, you know the, the, the manual. You can see it it come on top. Um, this is the 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 series radio you know what i mean for the three month free which i'm not going to use that i'm not really interested in series radio really and this is the screen saver that you actually put on your front of the screen to make sure no glare and all that shining in your face throughout the night and that's the number to call um well they say do not return to the store you can call them whatever so this is the beast and first i want to say it this feel 10 times better than the one that i actually had before you know what i mean based on the texture of the housing you know what i mean the if you have a rubbery feel and um yeah so this is what happening with 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 this with uh, the difference with this and the one that I had before. The one that I had before, I didn't really use the tablet area because I mean, I have my computer and my, my phone and everything. So I don't really use, take it down to use the tablet because I, I have no reason to, you know what I mean? So uh, what is coming inside the box is the charger. And this is the, the, the cup, um, suck cup um, to, to go on your, your, your windscreen. So basically, and this is what gray, the color is gray. Normally I always see them coming black. So further down more in the box, this is, okay, okay, so these are what come in, come in the box, right? This is a suction cup thing for your dash, if you want to put it on your, on your dashboard, if you don't want to put it on the glass, you can basically put this on your dash and stick it along with the suction cup, um, and this is what all the magic take place in really. So this is
antenna box basically for this the satellite you know this is the where this is the satellite that actually feed the gps um not just the gps only but this is what used to um get you better signal to the gps for more routing you know and um uh this is the the antenna for the series radio you know what i mean this little uh gray box thing here um i don't think i'm gonna use that really um this is the plug and this is the aux card for if you want to when you're using this, the the radio or cell phone or whatnot you can plug this inside your your actual truck stereo plug it inside of the either you put it in 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 this or you can put it in your gps so basically these are what coming inside the the package really nothing nothing fancy so this is what come inside of uh, the gps box so i'm gonna put it on my i'm gonna turn it on i'm gonna put it on my screen on my windscreen and then i'm gonna start the journey update it i'm gonna just uh peel this off turn it on and see what's going on I'm gonna power on this thing. I was told that it take a, a while to actually come up. So I turn it on. I'm gonna see what's going on. Because these are information I'm, I'm getting from the guys that use it. But I, I know uh, even the one I was using before, even when you turn it on, it, it, it don't really take long, but it actually um take a while to actually load before it actually comes up but when it comes up that's it you're good once the right current is going to it it's good and there's a uh, other complaints i saw with um other guys complaining about not only this one but other gps other other run matters gps that it's not charging you know what i mean and there is something about the charging if you're not using the original card to get to charge it you're gonna have problem if you're not giving it the right amount of juice the right amount of power that it should get if you're using an outlet that is sharing current and that outlet is is coming from maybe let's say you guys buy one of those multiple uh cigarette uh plug thing and you put and you use one of them to push inside and the current from in this thing is feeding the three outlets and you got three things three of maybe three of these things plug in inside inside there and it's just coming from one you're actually taking away some of the current from going to your gps so that's one of the reasons you have to plug everything out and just use that only in the socket or you can go ahead and buy um for the uh, okay I, I buy this this one actually has four um outlet in it but the difference with this the watt is the different the, the amperage that it put out even though it is for um um outlet is push is, is pushing out 24 voltage and it's also pushing out out six point um six point two out of each one of these slots it's kind of dirty hold on let me see if i can show show you guys what's going on I don't know if no you guys are not gonna see it. but basically it, it it is it is what I'm trying to say is it's powerful enough if I use it a, a, a cheap because you guys have to look at it look at the these things when you're buying them because some of them that really and truly doesn't push out um multiple are push out powerful enough for you guys to have more than one connect connections in there like this one you know what I mean so these are based on research they so got it you know so it's taking a bit long for real but i guess normally i don't really turn my gps on i just press the button at the top and get my, let it go um dark screen or whatnot but i don't really turn it off off now <clears throat> while this 
um, loading up, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, set up my suction cup on my glass. You know what I mean? Okay, the screen is on. Okay, the screen is on. So basically, let's get you registered and familiarized with your new device. Okay, next. And basically, this is the agreement. And normally, the agreement is going to tell you to obey the signs, street signs on the road, not the GPS. Um, find a hotspot. Find a hotspot. I'm going to turn my phone on. Click button at the bottom. Go to Bluetooth menu within uh, settings on your smartphone and make it discover your peering. Yes, YouTube, this is what's going on right now. My phone is at um, at spot to the GPS and um, I'm actually doing all the, the major updates. So this is what's going on. Seems like a, any tablet, any new phone, that's the same procedure, you know what I mean? So this is what's going on right now. So I'm basically, I already hooked it up on the stand already. I run the, the power card to it, you know what I mean? Um, run it straight from my outlet right here, straight all the way to it. And... Um, I, the antenna is around here. I just put it down straight forward because I don't need it to um, point in in the here. You know what I mean? So everything is there. I mean, so basically, this is my e-log people. If I if I, if I never uh, show you guys, this is actually one of my used phone, and this is actually a wireless charger stand. So it, it come with, with a paste thing down, like, they, they can paste it down on the dash, but it can easily come, comes off with, without ripping or anything. And it's actually a wireless charger. So when I put it on it, you see, charge instantly. And it also just keep the, the, my e-log up like that. So I'm actually do, um, gonna leave off right now with a pre-trip. I'm finishing up with this thing. Um, did my pre-trip right now. Go outside, check what's supposed to be checked and then off on my journey. So thanks for tuning in, and like I said, I will keep you guys posted. This is just a warm up, this is just um, feeling out. I don't even start using it as yet, so I'm gonna definitely tell you guys if it worth it, if it makes sense, and what are the pros and cons, you know what I mean? And like I said before, I just like having new gadgets, especially when I have to do something with my job. You know what I mean? Get it? make my life easier that's all i want so thanks for tuning in try size tracking be safe out there for more videos like this please subscribe